Let's create a new data extractor automation script with Process Runner. Now that I've selected the new data extractor technology, I'm going to double click here. And in a few seconds, I'll get the new process pop up. Now in this box, I simply type in the name of the table, custom table, view or custom view from which I would like to extract the data from. If I'm not totally familiar with the tables in SAP, I can click on this Data Dictionary Explorer. This pop-up will bring up all of the standard SAP tables in an ECC6 system. In the description box here, I could type in a description. Or if I'm already familiar with the table, but maybe not familiar with certain table views and joints, I can type here my root table. And then here under the base table, I could type another table. And so this will give me the standard SAP views for the Mara and Mark tables. And then as I scroll down here, I could simply select the appropriate one that I would like to do a data extraction from. Whatever row is highlighted, whether it's under the view list or the table name list, that is the name that will populate this box. Again, you can always just type it. Now I'm going to click OK. And I log into any SAP system across my SAP landscape. Now I'm taken into the Mapper tab for the Data Extractor technology. If I very quickly wanted to auto map all of these fields, I could simply right click on my mouse, select all rows, right click again on my mouse, select fast map, choose SAP to Excel, and this would immediately map all of these fields from the Mara table. You can see these are all mapped here. But if you don't want to map all of the fields, let me first reverse what I just did. Again, I'm selecting all rows, right clicking on my mouse, and now I'm going to select none. And so now I'm back to the original setting. So there are a few different ways now that I could activate these fields. In this box here, the active box, I simply check the fields that I would like to map. And you can see that this is doing this automatically for me. Or another option is I can select the field press on my control button and then left click with my mouse and select several other fields here. And then again, right clicking on my mouse, selecting this fast map option, SAP to Excel. I have now very quickly mapped some additional fields to my Excel spreadsheet. Now, if I want to build a data filter for this data extraction, right from this data filter ribbon, I simply select Data Filter Builder. And here I select which fields I would like to filter based on. Once I click on this field name, I have the drop down. And so I can scroll through here and pick an appropriate field. If I don't have that field name memorized, I can type here in the description box. For example, if I put in material type, this will bring up the material type field. I can select this and then I can decide what values for material type are going to be my filter. So here from this drop down, I can select a single value greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater than less than not equal to pattern or range. So I'm going to select a range here. And now from the source type, I simply need to provide my range. Now, had I not selected range, if I did Excel to SAP, I could actually map a column. So let me just show you that real quick here. Go back to my single value default. This would allow me then to filter based on the column A in my Excel spreadsheet. I could do a fixed single value, hard code in a value. Or I could do a system value from SAP. Or I could do a particular cell value, such as cell A2, B2, etc. 
And what I was going to show you previously, fixed multiple values. So I'm just going to select this here. And now I'm going to enter in finished goods as well as semi-finished goods. So I'm going to be filtering by a range here. Now if I wanted to add additional fields, I just simply select from the drop down and I can add additional fields. But for the sake of this demonstration here, I'm just going to stick with the one data filter. Now I click OK. If I go to the home ribbon here, I can choose my start row and my end row. And I also decide the maximum amount of records that I want to extract. Now, since I'm not filtering from any column in Excel, the start row and end row is irrelevant for me. But my max records, perhaps I want to make this a lower number or a greater number. I'm only limited by the number of rows in Excel, so I can make that as high a number as I want, essentially. But I'm just going to keep this at this default setting here of 1,000 and just do a quick data extraction of 1,000 records from the Mara table. I get this handy pop-up here that just says that I need to save this before I execute it, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. Now I'm prompted for the Save As. I'm going to select Save as Local. And this Mara data extraction file it's going to save right to my default in Aware Process Files folder, making it nice and easy for me to find later. Of course, I could save it to anywhere on my hard drive or network if I would like. And now we're back over here where I'm just logging in to SAP and executing this Mara data extraction. You can see how quickly that this processed total of one second SAP time and then three seconds to write to the Excel spreadsheet. Very quickly able to do this data extraction from the Mara table here where a thousand records were extracted. And then if I scroll down here, there is my thousand records. Thanks for watching this quick overview of how to create a data extractor file. Again, just remember the whole key is, is from your mapper tab, you just map the appropriate fields that you would like to download data for. And then here in your data filter, decide which fields that you want to filter by.